feel free to t- tell me where these things are. 101, 101, 101, it's like a bingo caller. Wow, that was intense. So now we've fitted all the resistors on the board. Takes a little while. You've just got to make sure you get the right numbers in the right place. Um, the It's easier to bend the pins with the pliers and then fit it in. So the, these are already kind of pre-bent, so they're pretty easy, the larger ones. Um, we'll just make sure you get it in the right place, really. What else can you do? Uh, the good thing is if you put something in one wrong place it will come up later when you try and put that resistor in another place so it's kind of self preserving really. So now we're going to do fit the diodes. Now you see on a diode they're marked with a band there or there, black band there. So this correlates to the cathode part, but you can see with all the diodes, whoops, the diodes there, you've got to get it right, the right way around. It shows you how to actually, you put them touching the PCB, then you've got the photocoupler here, similarly, there's a mark there, so you have to orientate that the right way, and then for the IC transistors here, the, obviously, got a D-shaped body, so you must get that right around here, here and here. And the LED as well, I believe. Yeah, one of the leads is longer than the other, so you have to get that right. And then you've got the, the bridge diodes. Again, they are orientated in a particular way, and the FETs. So just be careful. And also, here we go, there's more um, PTCs and the ICs here, which uh, go on there. But we'll go back, we'll talk about those later. Okay, so let's just crack on with the diodes, get them in the right place. So the first one is this one, Zeno diode. You can see what it is. Are made of glass. These are certainly made of glass. So, it's out. There you go, fine. So, take again with the pliers. Bend the leads. And these are called ZDs, so, on the board, it's going to be the power section. So D, okay, so D there, so D, 201, so yeah, correlates there, the black mark there, there, black mark there, like that. The leaves are quite thick on these. Less forgiving, so try and get the right diameter to D's.
Right, now we're going to be doing the soldering. Using, uh, they don't provide solder in this kit, but I'm going to be using the, the Mundor Silver Gold 2.8%. This is my favourite one. And then we're going to be using the old Weller Iron. Word of warning on this, when you're doing any IC sort of, you know, sort of state device, with, you know, like you tell us, but three leads together, don't do them all at the same time because they are, they are quite delicate and you don't want to mess them up. So I generally do one lead, go somewhere else, come back to another lead. Okay, just to keep the heat down. Um, and then obviously when you're doing it, make sure that the components have fallen through and sticking out when you do a nice neat build. Just the caps that are probably more like to do that. And off we get it. So sometimes I hold, put my finger underneath. So quick little lesson. Quick tip of the soldering iron on the lead and the pad. Got to fill the hole really. See lots of nice shiny drawings. Oops. Have you noticed? Some of the components bounced out. 